This is Phone Arena's video review of the new LG VX8600 offered by Verizon Wireless. The 8600 is very similar to the 8500 chocolate phone. Main differences between the two phones is the chocolate being a slider with the display always on the outside the 8600 is a more traditional flip style phone. The exterior of the phone has the external display, 1.3 megapixel camera, speaker, music player control buttons, volume, charger port, camera, speaker phone buttons, and micro SD card. The internal display on the 8600 is limited to only 220 by 176 pixels. This is an actual downgrade from the chocolate which is 320 by 240 pixels. You can definitely tell the difference in the quality between the two displays in person. The 8600 shows some jagged edges around text and images where the chocolate phone does not. Below the display is the keypad. You have your five-way navigational keys here. Takes you to um, get it now, messaging, contacts, recent calls, and settings and tools. Keypad is nice except for the fact that it is completely flat. This provides very little tactile feel when dialing a number or sending a text message. There are a total of three themes included with the 8600. Right now we are using the standard Verizon Wireless theme which is a flash UI theme. It's a welcome change from the uh, traditional sterile theme that's been in previous phones. We can go down here, change the theme to the arch theme, which is a very similar theme to what is on the chocolate phone. The third theme we can change to is the cross theme. which is the most graphical of the themes. However, with the graphics does come a lack of speed when changing between menus. Music can be played very easily after MP3 or WMA files are added to the micro SD card. We simply go to the Get It Now music and tones and then my music. This brings up the Vcast music player. Lists as genres, artists, albums, and songs. We'll select artists, then select the artist that we want, scroll to the particular CD by the artist, and then you can select the song that you wish to play. You can either have the phone open while playing or closed. The display on the front shows the song information and current playback. You can also access the touch sensitive music control buttons on the bottom of the phone. You have play and pause, fast forward, rewind. If you press and release, it will then skip to the next song.
Overall, the playback quality of the phone is limited due to it only having one mono speaker. We will, would have rather have seen two stereo speakers on the 8600, similar to the current 8300. On the right side of the display is the camera button. As you go into the camera mode, several different options you can select. You have resolution, which offers a maximum resolution of 1280 by 960. You can then select self timer, brightness, white balance, sh shutter sound, color effects, night mode, and front display, which will turn on the front display for self portraits. Once the image is framed in the screen, simply press the OK button. So I'll ask you to either save or erase the image. We will choose to save it. Then takes about another three to four seconds to save the image. Can then press and hold the camera button, which will take you to the camcorder mode. Options there is limited to only brightness, white display, time limit, and front display. Time limit, you can either choose 15 seconds for sending as a video message or available memory, which will use up to the available memory in your micro SD card. You can then press the record button. Begins recording in video mode and then press it again, which will stop. You then can choose either to save or erase the video. We will choose to save. Overall, the images, pictures, and videos recorded with the 8600 are about equivalent to the chocolate and 8300. We would have liked to have seen a higher quality megapixel camera on the phone since it's limited to only 1.3. Since the 8600 and chocolate share many of the same features, it pretty much boils down to choice. Do you prefer a slider style phone or a more traditional flip style phone. Despite the features, there are a few things that we did not care about the 8600. The first being the camera. It's only a 1.3 megapixel camera. We would have rather seen a 2 megapixel camera used such as on the Envy or a 3 megapixel camera such as from the Samsung A990. For music playback, there is only one mono speaker on the phone. For a music phone like this, we would have much rather have seen two speakers for stereo playback. The internal phone display is actual downgrade from the chocolate. It is only 220 by 176 pixels. We believe that this was done as a cost cutting feature. And lastly, the keyboard on the bottom of the phone is completely flat, which provides zero tactile feel whatsoever. We found that text messaging or dialing numbers without looking directly at the keyboard is nearly impossible. Despite these drawbacks, the overall build quality of the phone is good. It is actually slimmer than the chocolate and, act, and also weighs less. The size of the 8600 is similar to that of the Motorola Razr. Overall, this phone is a welcome upgrade to the VX8300.